Hi, my name is Nicole with So Much More in Store, and today I'm going to show you how to organize your fabric using comic book boards. I have these comic book boards that are just basically a really thick cardstock. I would say that they are about the same thickness as a gift box that you would get from uh, Dillard's or Kohl's or something like that. They um, are measured at 10 and a half inches by seven inches and uh, you can get these on Amazon. I have um, a link that I'll share with you at the bottom of this video. Um, I'm, I'm going to also show you how to fold fat quarters and yard lengths of fabric. The comic book boards that I purchased come in packs of 100. And depending on your fabric stash, uh, you may need less or more. I needed more. Um, right now, I am organizing my pink fabrics. And here are a few fat quarters that I have that need to be placed on these boards. So the first thing that you do is you open up your fabric and you place it right side down so that the wrong side is facing up towards you. And then since this is a fat quarter, see I've already used a little bit of this one, but I'm still going to save the piece. You basically just need to fold it in half. And then these work really nicely. It works just about the, the same length of the board. And then you'll take one side, and I'm gonna take the side that has the little cut out of it so that doesn't show, not that that matters, but it's a little easier to hold the pins. And then you just take a quilting pin, one of the longer needle pins, and basically just put it between both pieces of fabric and then it holds it together nicely. So I've got a stack going right here of some reds and pinks and you can see how it uh, just keeps everything nice and organized. You can really uh, color coordinate your fabric if you want to. I like to stack mine in rainbow order because that's just me. So here is another fat quarter, just to show you one more time. Fold it out and the fabric needs to be facing the right side down and the wrong side towards you. You just fold it down. You take a board right in the middle of it and fold it together. And so this is a really simple thing to do when you have fat quarters. When you have yards, you just fold it in half one more time, um, a couple times, and then put it together. So now the reason that I do these comic book boards is because I have deep shelves. And what I had done before was I would take my fat quarters or my bits of fabric and I fold it usually in this square, and then I would just stack it up, but because my shelves were deep, I would have more fabric behind it. And what caused a problem was is that I could never see what was behind the front pack. And with this solution, I can see all of my fabric, and it's not taking up, uh, it's taking up the same amount of space, actually less, um, and so I'm able to get more fabric in the space and see what I have. So that's a really good solution for me.